Good morning. This is Pastor Hankerson, Hammond Grove Word Power Minister in North Augusta, South Carolina. I have a word from God for you today. From Psalms 121, a very familiar passage of Scripture 1 and 2 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So I wanted us to think about in times like these, that God is still our almighty God. He's still in control of all things. But what we need to do today is trust him. So I want to speak from a thought today. Prayer and repentance will accomplish many things. Prayer. Do you pray? Are you praying or are you worrying? Prayer and repentance will accomplish many things. God is the only one, and trust me, he's the only one that can help us in times like these. We are experiencing some difficult times. Things are happening that we never experienced before. People are becoming ill and some are dying from this global pandemic called coronavirus. It is known also as the unseen enemy, the invisible enemy. And I want you to know that this enemy has no respect of person. We know that enemy, as the Bible speaks of, comes to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. And the enemy right now is doing all of that. He's continuing to extend his boundaries. He's working 24 seven. He's robbing our economy, trying to steal our joy. But I tell you today, the joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me and the world can't take it away. People are dying. People are being isolated from their loved ones. But God is still God. Many of us are wondering today, when, when is this going to stop? When will this end? It is in God's timing. I don't know, I wish I can tell you, but God is the only one that knows. God is the only one that can get us through this. Remember, God is the only one that can, that can get us through this, what we are going through now, these tough times, the disease is spreading through the land and we need a healing from heaven that only God can give. I want to share God's word with you. The Psalmist David says, look to the hills. We get some assistance, but I'm talking about looking to God above the hills. I'm not talking about the hills, capital hills, but I'm talking about looking to God, looking up. That's what David said when he was going through some things. He said, I look to the hills from which cometh my help. I know that my help comes from God. Do you know that your help comes from God? Money will run out. But God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So look to the hills, look, look up to God. Get your family together. Look up to God and trust him. And regardless of what happens, don't lose your faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Faith not only quenches the fiery dots of the enemy that he has sent against us, but faith equips us to send our fiery weaponry against him. Job said in Job 13 and 15, he says, though he slay me, yet I trust God. What all Job was going through, he said, I trust God. Do you trust him today? Job lost everything. He lost everything, people. He lost everything except his faith. 
everything. Isaiah 41 and 10 says this. God says to Isaiah, do not fear for I'm with you. Don't fear. God is with you. First Peter 5 and 7 says, cast your anxieties on him because God cares for you. Yeah. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a sound mind. He gave us, a, gave us the spirit of power, power against the enemy. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. We have to trust God. We're going through some tough times now. Abide by the rules of the land and by the word of God. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. But God has not heard what he wants to hear yet. It's time to, to live for the only true and living God. The only true and living God. In a time like this where God is saying to man, you can't handle this. You can't control this. It's everywhere. But I heard him say in 2 Chronicles 2, 7 and 14, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, he says, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn, turn from their wicked ways. He says, then I would hear from heaven, turn from their wicked ways. Yes. And I will forgive them for their sins. They seek my face and I will heal their land. Look to the hills from with cometh your help. Let's pray to God everywhere. You don't have to be in a building to pray. God have already prepared his saints that we can go to the him at any time. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, call on me and I will answer your prayers and I will do great and mighty things that you cannot even Imagine God is a mind-blowing God. He's going to blow our mind. He's doing something. God is at work, and he is doing something, and we got to give God the glory. May God bless you. Until next time, this is Pastor Hankerson, Hammond Grove Word Power Ministry, North Augusta, South Carolina.